Hi everybody, this is Josh. In this video, I want to show you a workaround to a common problem if you're trying to export something that's larger than 2,500 pixels in either Google Slides or Google Drawings. Let me show you how to get around that. So here I am in one of my Google Slides documents that I use for my YouTube channel art. And if I go to File, Page Setup, and go to Pixels, you can see I've set it up to be 2560 by 1440 which is what YouTube recommends for your YouTube channel art. The problem is when I download that as a JPEG or PNG, I can open it up here in a tab and you can see this is 2500 by 1406. It's downscaled it to a maximum of 2500 pixels. I don't know why it does that, but it does. And I want to show you how to get around that. What I'm going to do is go to File, Download As, and I'm going to choose scalable vector graphics or the SVG and you see there it says the current slide so it will only download the current slide that I'm on as an SVG. I'm going to choose that and then I use a tool that I've been using for a long time and I did do a video about this a while back but I just want to make sure that it still works the same way and solves the problem because tools can change websites can update you never know so I'm going to go ahead and select a file and I'm going to choose that SVG from my downloads and right here where it says SVG, I'm going to change that to image. And I want a PNG. I'm going to choose PNG. And then I'm going to click the little wrench. This is what's really cool. SVGs are an older file format, but they're extremely useful because they contain vector information and they can also contain images or pixel information. So you get the full resolution of the photos that you're using, for example, in your Google Slides documents here, in a very small file size and with Cloud Convert, we can adjust the DPI or the density manually, like say for a business card or something like that. You'd want at least 300, and you definitely can't do that inside Google Slides or Google Drawings. But you can see here, I can use the arrow keys and bump it up to 300 if I wanted to. Let's do that first, just so I can show you what you can get out of this. So I'm going to click OK, and then Start Conversion. Now, if you're logged in, you can save this to your Google Drive or just convert it and then download it to your hard drive. So once it's done its conversion, it gives me a download button and I can just click on download to save it to my hard drive. Let's go ahead and open this up and just see what we got. There's our YouTube channel art. Let's open it in a new tab and see what our resolution is. Look at that. 8,000 by 4,500. And it takes a little while to load here, but you can see it's nice and crisp. I can zoom in on here. Look at that. It's nice and crisp and clear. And we just could not get that high of a resolution output from Google Slides or Google Drawings. That's fantastic. So that was at 300 DPI. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Go to PNG, click on my wrench, and under resolution, I'll just say no change and click OK. Then we'll do our Start conversion and download that converted file to our hard drive. Let's go ahead and open our most current one and check out our resolution there. 2560 by 1440, which is exactly what we had set it up to be in our page setup here. So Cloud Convert does work and you can actually get a much higher resolution output than Google Slides or Google Drawings gives you to be able to download those images. So check out cloudconvert.com and using the SVG file format. Hopefully that works for you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.